Hi everyone, welcome to my planner video and I'm just going to show a few options on how I have had my planner set up. I originally started out in a Kate Spade or a Filofax personal size ring binder. Um, currently I am trying the Midori binders so um, I will show that next. Hopefully this won't be a too terribly long video but I'm going to show how I have my personal one set up since I still have it set up and also the inserts that I used when I had um, when I was using my personal. So this is a nude Filofax um, personal size planner. I do really like the nude color. It's still decorated for Valentine's, which I still like it anyways. Um, I would probably still keep it decorated like this. I buy my inserts, um, my dashboard, and my inserts off of different shops on Etsy. So that's how I do that. Most of this was all Target. I'm not going to go into some of the front of this because it's got personal information. So what I like for the inserts on my personal size or what I had been using is the DIY fish which is found on Etsy. And I will pull out some past DIY fish and I'll have these linked below as well. So this is what I did for December, November and this is just the monthly part of them. So um, the way the option that I got for DIY fish is it comes with a monthly chart. Um, what I started doing for my monthly chart is at the bottom I kept track of bills and when they're due my green marks would be when I would get paid. So that way I would know um, which ones that I would pay for that pay period. On the other side, it does have a calendar. It's a little bit different than a regular calendar because it go, it does Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and it follows it that way to go across your other sheets. I did pull some other sheets out of here that I don't use, um, but that could throw you off in the beginning when you're looking for the third or fourth day and it's down here instead of going across. Then in this particular option that I have, um, it does have a week that you can keep your week in and that's why this is set up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to follow out hopefully I'm still in focus, um, to follow out um, in, your, in your grid. And this particular one that I was trying out at this time was a two day, uh, one day on two pages. And I found that that was a little bit too much for me because I was trying to do personal and this side um, is what I thought I was going to do personal list and then on this side I was going to do my work list. So I found out that didn't work for me but they do have a trial that you can do three months at a time and purchase and it is where you do print them out yourself but if you go on the Facebook page for DIY Fish there are resources that print them out for you and that's how I chose to do it um, because I am not very good at printing and they punch them. They do all of this folding for you and everything. So I much rather pay someone to do that than me trying to figure out how to print this front and back and fold all of the stuff. So my next little part I just put in um, these little Project Life 
I laminated them, Project Life cards, and put little tabs on them. So um, that's how I divided out all of my um, subjects, I guess, in here. Um, then I just had a zipper pocket in the back for things. And um, so that's all that I did on there. I'll show you a little bit more of the weekly on these are the day on um, one page so as you can see they're um, a little bit um, better to keep up with so I started I liked this one and so if I went back to the personal planner I would probably go back to that um, this is the weekly planner list that comes in here that I kind of rigged to, because I thought I was going to make it like a menu planner on here and everything, but apparently that week I did not do that. I, I, you get all kinds of ideas when you're on the Facebook pages and think you're going to do things. You know, obviously you don't get to do those. So those are those particular inserts. I'm embarrassed to say I did order some more inserts and I just now opened them and I ordered them in like February, but then I started using my Midori. So I do have these inserts if I ever want to um, go back or I may just sell them. This one, like I haven't even opened them as you can tell. I just got them out of um, the container. So I ordered the, to buy, I ordered the online shopping tracker, the health and diet um, planner, and then I did just order a little bit of the, or I ordered the, I don't want to open them up in case I sell them, but the two month monthly, or the two page monthly. On here and it's got notes on one side and a checklist on one side and this is from um, at the bottom here you can see I don't know how to pronounce the store name but you can go on Facebook and um, look her up and it's P I A R I C and I chose this color. I chose off-white, but it's kind of yellow. Um, but it's all right. And then this one is the daily pages that I chose because there are other options. So you don't have to choose the ones that I chose. And I think I chose six months. Um, so like for this option, I chose this daily one because I thought this would fit me the most because I was trying to think about doing it for work and for personal and try to use it that way because I was wanting to use just one planner. So this one had morning, afternoon, evening, so you could put appointments there and then do your to-do list. And it's just on one page. So that's an option for those of you looking for um, different inserts. And I'll have all this, like I said, linked below. So on to the Midori. I am like in love with the Midori right now. I just got in this May Designs books. I haven't even like opened them up. These are the ones that I just chose, these colors. Oh my goodness, they are so pretty. I just got lined ones, I believe. Um, and now they have where you can choose either um, aqua lines or pink lined. Ooh, I love these. Oh, they have a nice feel to them, too. So, um, you don't have to get just the black lines. So, that one I chose the pink on. I thought it was real pretty for the pink lines. Like really good quality. There, oh, I chose a blank one. I don't know what I chose on this one. Um, they had a sale going on, so 
That's why I ordered some. I had heard such good things about them. And another lined one. Because I figured I could always use the lined ones and cover them up for something. So those are nice little notebooks. So you can either take them with you or use them in your Midori. So speaking about Midoris, all of the shops I talk about to you, linked below. Um, this is um, from Cake Papery. And it's a fabric Midori. And I can sh just show you how this would go in there. You just find the middle of the notebook and pop it in. And that's one reason that I'm loving these Midoris is because I can just like easily, easily take these in and out write on them when I need to. I mean, it's just so simple. And so this, this one that I have here has four strings to it. So, I mean, I can even fit more books in here and piggyback them. Um, but I'm just like, quickly putting them in there to show you what it would look like if I stuck them all in. So, so cute, so cute. Mine is the wide, so that's why this one fits a little bit different in here. I'm not sure if I like the wide too much. Um, I might like the regular a little bit better. But that is the Cake Papery and the May Designs. I'll throw that down in the floor. Then moving on to the um, Foxadories. So I now have four Foxadories. Um, Kelly is the owner and she is just awesome. The first one that I got, actually I sold, but um, this is my first one that I got. Um, I will let you know the sizes of them too. This is the color Luna and it's in wide. So it will fit the May Designs books in them. So right now um, I was just using this as my regular planner and trying to carry this in my purse and everything. And I felt it was kind of bulky to do but I love the leather. It's stiff. Um, these inserts that I am using now are from Yellow Paper House on Etsy. Uh, Foxadori is also on Etsy. She is um, very busy, so she only posts once a day and has limited amount available once a day. So if you are wanting one of these um, binders, or covers then you would have to wait for that so in my first book that I have is just a monthly um, that I got from yellow paper house and I covered these they come in just a cardboard looking um, thing like this so I covered mine and I got that idea from the Reset Girl. If you don't watch the Reset Girl or follow her on Instagram, I highly suggest that. And then my next one is for the month of March. So I ordered this one because I thought this particular one seems like it has everything that I need to track. It has breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, your water intake, money made, spent, saved, your exercise, your daily goal, daily gratitude, any notes, any to-dos, and then if you want to track what you did during the day, you can do that. So this is already done, and then you just fill out the dates at the top. So I, I really like this setup. Then can't remember where I got this dashboard but I will link it below too. I've got to fill out or fix my card 
to put my stickers in because I have like my stickers ready to go. But this is what I plan on doing to it is putting papers in it and making it all pretty and then putting my stickers in it. Um, I don't know if I'll be using this particular folder after I get done making that, so we'll see about that. Then this particular one, what I plan on using this notebook for, I ordered this and it's just got a ribbon at the top so you can date it or write whatever you want at the top. I wanted to keep like a faith journal and scripture reading, so... I do have that notebook. Then the last notebook is just a small grid and I just have miscellaneous items in there. So I do have like a little notebook section in there. I just have notes, I have to do's, my purchases, wish list, um, YouTube in the back, ideas. Um, things like that. So that's what I have going on right now in this notebook. I did order it with a pen loop. I kind of wish I didn't because it kind of gets in my way. And I did order it with the double bands. I do like the double bands on this size. Um, so you can order it with the double bands if you want, um, I kind of like the double bands on this size because I kind of pack mine full. And that is the wide. So the next size that I ordered was the Paradise. And this is the pocket size, or otherwise known as the field note size. Sorry, I held that up too high. Um, so this is Paradise, and this is just a black elastic. The other one had the uh, aqua elastic. All of these inserts are from Yellow Paper House as well. Then I covered these. The first one, I haven't even had a chance to like fill out the monthly. So this is a monthly um, calendar so that way I can plan ahead. I'm going to start this one in April. I wrote in a mark, Sharpie marker instead of the Sharpie pen on this first page so it bled through to the calendar page, so I'm kind of sad about that, so I know not to do that. But other than that, like the Sharpie pen that I wrote on does not blade through. So I did get a different type of setup for this particular notebook since it is small. And this one just has bullet points, so I can write my to-dos over here. I can write whatever I want over on this side and um, take some notes on that side. So I thought this would be a nice size to keep in my purse to go instead of that one. So I'm gonna try to work in a very small, you know, you could see how small, um, a very small planner and we'll see how that goes. So this is gonna be an April when I start this one. Um, the next one is just another one of those little ribbon notebook so I can just jot down notes and then the um, next one that I have decorated here is just a lined one so that way I can use it however I would like as well so I wanted to make sure to have two of those in there then I'm going to just wrap this since there's no more elastics what I will do is I would just take this and wrap it around one of the books and that's all you have to do. So now I can have my stickers on that side, stickers on the inside here, and then whatever I want on this side. A lot of people use either this um, particular size as a wallet, which I don't think I would like this as a wallet. Um, I don't know about that. And then, um, or either they use the passport size as a wallet. So then I wanted to see what the passport size was like and the regular size. So this is a regular size Midori. And this came in a set from Foxadori. Um, she was selling it as a set. 
the leather is totally different this is much thicker and actually this one's not even very pliable and this one's gonna loosen up even more um, but this is like super like soft you can see how how soft it is um, so this just lays open whereas my other ones do not lay open I haven't even gotten a chance to cover these so this is how the yellow paper house comes I've ordered a plain um, just a just a white particular one to come our notebook for this because if you follow me on Instagram I am going to do the April challenge that the reset girl is doing and it's a 30 day of list so what we will be doing is decorating a notebook or you don't have to do it in a Midori you can do it in whatever you want and then there will be 30 days of prompts and then you'll make your list out and it, I think it would be fun to decorate and do um, but for this particular notebook it only came with one elastic so you can put either just one book or you can do like I did and get an elastic and piggyback them and then you can have two books in on one so that's what I did for this because I thought it would be good for either work or something like that but now I'm going to use it for my 30 days of list this one I haven't decided what I'm going to use for yet it is really cute um, I piggybacked on it too and I chose the blue as you can tell like color um, I chose the blue I think it's called got the blues or something and then I don't know what color this one is I just was trying to pick one of the colors that was out of here um, to do the ribbon one I really like that ribbon one and then I just got like a super big rubber band so that way it wouldn't cut into the notebooks you just want it not cutting into the notebooks um, so that's what I have I haven't even decorated on that either because on those two I've used the same paper I need some new paper I don't want to do all four in the same paper so that's my passport one um, so I haven't decided what to do with this one yet once I decide I'll let you know maybe post it on Instagram or something but those are all of what I'm doing with my planners if you have any questions or if you want to see how I decorate anything let me know I'll be happy to decorate on camera do anything like that so um, hopefully this video wasn't too incredibly long and it was informative so please follow me on Instagram it's at miss eyeshadow junkie and subscribe to my videos so that way you can keep seeing more videos either of makeup planners purses um, I think I'm gonna get ready and film a haul video right now too I'm just on a filming video um, day I guess so I will talk to you later and have a great day bye